Good evening, internet. Welcome to my channel. I'm Udzoka. Over here on my side of the net, I talk about a lot about my mental health and also whatever I want, my two cents on everything. So I just recommend that you subscribe if you're here for the vibes, okay? I don't whatever type of content you think I regularly make, I can't guarantee nothing. I can just guarantee that I'm going to be my authentic self every single time. Um, I want to talk about the VMAs. Oh, honey child, my YouTube has been a whirlwind. Listen, I'm used to like about 20, 30 people watching my videos, but people cannot get enough of this Trisha Paytas stuff. Like, yeah, you might look and be like, baby, it's only 200 people that's watching. But that's like about 170 more people than what I'm used to. So um, it's been a whirlwind. People can't get enough of this this Trisha Paytas thing. Um, there's this TikTok channel called The Contradictions of Trisha Paytas. The Contradictions of Trisha which uh, I might react to if I have some time. Um, I'm still trying to like reorganize my life. And I don't know, I've just had to spark to be making YouTube content. So now I'm trying to be more intentional and make my schedule and all those ADHD good habits that you don't actually implement when you have ADHD, it sucks. But today let's talk about the VMAs because a lot of black women here on YouTube are talking about it. I am in the, I don't know what you call us. What do you call it? The black female YouTube sphere? I don't know. The black women commentary? I'm all up in her. I'm all up in there. And I want to give my two cents too, okay? Because I have to agree. I have to agree with the girls. So if you've already watched a black woman give her opinion on the VMAs, I pretty much am probably going to agree with her. You probably This is just probably going to be repeat. Um, but let's talk about it. It was the black girls who took the show away. Starting with Doja Cat. Very proud of Doja Cat. When I first found out that she was selected to be the baby you did not need to see that mess i'm also trying to upgrade my equipment let's pretend we didn't see that mess like i said i have adhd i'm just scheduling my cleaning hours and stuff okay so um doja cat i was so proud of her i'm just so proud of her i'm just so proud of her like i'm just proud of her okay that's all i gotta say when she was hosting, silly. She was Doja Cat silly. She had what, the chicken feet shoes. She had, I look like a worm, whatever, <laughs> whatever that was. Um, you know, she's just silly. And she was really just being herself, which that's the good thing. The VMAs are always supposed to be fun, silly. The VMAs is supposed to be like the adult version of Nickelodeon. Like the adult version of the Nick Awards. What is that what they call them? The Nick Awards? The, the, the or you know what I'm talking about? When they win the orange trophy that's like a blue a ship. You know what I mean? So I'll just say I'm very proud that she got to add that to her resume, honey. Good job, girl. And also even better job with her performance. She performed, you right, I got my guy. And I forgot the other one that she performed, but she was giving, okay? She wanted to express the emotions, been like this. She wanted to express the emotions, not just with the song, but through her body. She was in the air. She was floating, toes pointed. Toes pointed. Thank you, we appreciate. Mm. Tooth sweets. She did a contemporary lyrical partner dance to kind of show, you know, I'm with my guy, but I want you. But I'm with my guy, but I want you. And she gave something that's just so different than what everybody else was giving. As usual, per the norm, per the norm, 
Doja Cat is still rain in our California drought. We have been without the girls who give for many a year and Doja Cat is coming to quench it and thereby encouraging other girls to follow suit and follow suit they did. Now, maybe let's call it the girls and the gays because Lil Nas X gave as usual. I'm so proud of him. I am really proud of him. I don't know what I would be doing. If I was 23 years old and was met with the level of fame and scrutiny that this young man is met with, I don't know how I would conduct myself in public, but he conducts himself exactly the way he wants to. Unbothered and trolling. I love it. I love it. I mean, give me more ironic billboards above the evangelical church to advertise Montero the album. Give me more. Um, he had to know that every every time he performs, he does the the jail shower scene dance. And it's not like how dudes usually dance. You know, when we have our Chris Browns and our Ushers and Omarions, they doing some footwork, you know what I'm saying? They sliding around, doing all this pop, like, uh, uh, uh. But Lil Nas X said, I'm going to do body roll. Oh, let me see if I let me, let me see if I can tighten this. Do I? Does it tighten? Cause that's getting on my nerves. Nope. How about that? Nope. Huh? Whatever. We'll make do. He knew that he was having a footloose moment. You know what I mean? The movie. Footloose, where the dude with a motorcycle jacket comes into the town and says, hey, everybody, there's a type of music that exists called rock and roll, and this is how you dance to it. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, crying all the time. Pelvic truck, ah! And the elders are like, we cannot have this. This is unchristian. This is ungodly. Think of the children. No, <laughs> they cannot dance a Especially to rock and roll. And the kid said, screw you, mom and dad. You ain't never have died. Crying all the time. That's what Lil Nas X is doing when he's a man performing body rolls on stage unapologetically every time he performs. He does it every time. It doesn't matter that Industry Baby is a full on bop and that's all that we really wanted. He made sure to include, hey, guess what, y'all? <laughs> I'm never gonna not do these body rolls. Stay mad. And I'm proud of him for that. Good job. I'm just so proud of him. I'm, I admire his, what he's doing, especially at his young age. Bravo, Lil Nas X. Now let's talk about Chloe, Miss Chloe. Listen, we are all super excited for Chloe going solo. We've been knowing that that's what she wanted. She has been wanting to perform. She has been wanting to be the little Beyonce that she know that she could be, okay? We've seen it. I have been obsessed with Chloe and Holly during the panorama because they were giving. They were giving, okay? They will take their garage and turn it into a lush wonderland, turn it into outer space spaceships. They'll take their backyard and turn it into a, a, like a whole different location and perform. And you know, they didn't have much choreography when they performed. They would do, you know, oh, wait, wait a minute, Mr. Postman, wait, hey, hey, hey. you know, the little do up do up type of moves and Hallie she would be like love me at the ungodly hour and then Chloe would be like and a one and a two and a one and a two and a hit that drop and a bow 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 and a go low go low up up dip it on <laughs> Like every performance, I could see Chloe just, there was just this, 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 I don't know. There's this energy inside of Chloe that is like, 
Go off, sis. Go ahead. Go ahead and jump off the stage and go into full, <laughs> go into a full on freestyle. You can just see it. Like, just the way Chloe performs, I'm like, she is so ready. She is so like, sis, give me some room. Give me some room. Give me some room. Like, give me some room. <laughs> like, it's a dance battle or something. But I'm happy that now she finally has some room. Okay, this is her first solo performance. She was so nervous. She even cried when she got off the stage. She was crying. She was so happy, so proud, and we are proud. Listen, there are people who are trying to detract from this moment. Um, they're being mean. Okay. They're talking about the tampon thing. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention it. I'm not I'm not gonna pretend like like it's not there. They keep talking about that, and that's just one of those things that is like one of the most embarrassing things for a woman. I don't know if if what we saw is a, a tampon. I don't know, but it's like I'm not gonna say it on my channel, but there are women who sit on theirs, and you can go watch theirs. But there's certain there's a certain group of people that are the main ones talking about hey your tampons hanging out that is so mean and they were really trying to make it overshadow this whole thing um it's whatever because she smashed it her energy was off the charts now she needs some refining and the only reason why we are critiquing her show is because she has it. She has the it factor. She has it. When I was working in like commercial dance and they would make you like do some singing too. And they would always say, we would rather you be too much than too little. Imagine you are a pop star coach. And you're given a Chloe who just has this ah, unbridled energy just waiting to come out and gives a little too much. And then you have a, I, mean, I don't know, a Selena Gomez. Can't keep my hands to myself. Cause I've been nothing but loving you. Who, who do you think you can work with better? You're going to work with the one who has too much. It's easier to rein it in and polish, polish, refine. That's much easier than to, than to try to get something out that maybe is not there. You know what I'm saying? So some people are like, Chloe is too much. It's like she, the main thing is she gave energy. Energy is so important with these performers. And maybe you wouldn't think so. You you would think well it's televised and there's there's all these visual effects and and it's more about the singing but it's about the energy no matter the performance whether it's live or televised whether there's strings and and costumes and all these theatrics if you don't have the energy it's all for nothing and she came she made sure she came with the energy um, she wants to be a dance performer so you know. She just gotta polish it. She just gotta polish it up. Just polish it a little bit more. Um, or make sure you're doing choreography that you can hit it clean. Um, her voice perfection. Listen, she came with the energy and she came with the voice. She came with the voice. That's why we are saying the haters are mad. The haters are mad. She came with the energy and the voice. Voice was flawless no signs of lip syncing you the haters were so mad because they wanted to find they wanted to find the spot where she's just lip syncing where she the that the music is going and she's doing like this and the music is still going they couldn't find it they couldn't find it why because they don't want to accept that she has the vocal the vocals are down. The vocals are down pat. The vocals are indestructible. The vocals are locked up. Locked up in the safe. Locked up 
nobody can get to it. The haters are mad. Okay, so now the only thing that they can say is, well, she's Beyonce part two. We don't want to Beyonce part two. Shut up. Shut up. You're lucky that there's even another girl that's giving. You're lucky that there's even a girl that you give a damn about that's giving. Because for the longest time, it was just Doja Cat and occasionally Normani when her, when her managers allow her to come out from under the rock that they're keeping her under. I'm gonna get on our money in a second. We finna talk about that one. But y'all are lucky that there's even somebody who wants to give. I know what they're saying. You know, I see the Beyonce. I see it. I see it in the music video. I see it in the, in the performance. She just needs refining. She just needs refining. She is really trying to find herself. Like, really. She is really detaching from an old identity into a new one she is going to come into her own she just needs some time y'all just need to be happy that she came out bussing because that's not how most people come out most people come out like can't keep my hands to myself that's how most of them come out we are happy and excited that chloe is coming out she wants the world to know and um, if she just keeps going, she's going to come into her own. And she's going to be a phenomenal performer. She is going to give the other girls a run for their money. She will. People are like, oh, what is the theme? Yeah, I was confused. I was like, what is this Halloween? I thought it was like sorority, Greek. I thought it was supposed to be like Greek sorority because that's what the music video is, right? Like Greek statues and sororities, Greek life. But then you, what is this Halloween? What is this woods? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I was confused, but I was also just happy, okay? Now, let's talk about Normani. We are always upset, not with Normani, but about what's going on around her. We're upset, we're offended, we're offended. What's happening to, to, uh, to Normani is what it happened to Tanache. We are afraid that Normani is gonna become a Tanache. We don't want that. To, we don't want Normani to be, whatever happened to Tanache, we don't want that to happen to her because it like doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. When you look at Tanache, it's like, beautiful woman, beautiful vocals, dance, amazing, everything amazing. She fits all of the conventional standards of beauty that you're looking for. What more do you want? Why aren't you giving us Tinashe? And that's how we feel about Normani. Why aren't you giving us Normani? Why? Why? We're upset about it, okay? She had like 24 hours to come up with that routine. 24 hours to call Tiana Taylor and say, girl, I need a show stop and finish. Can you help a sister out? She had 24 hours to do this. How impressive. I give her an A+. Plus. She put this together in such a short amount of time. She didn't take it as an insult that she was an afterthought. I would have been insulted. But honey, I also understand we trying to get whatever bread that we can get with this career. I don't know what her management is doing. I don't know why they dropping the ball on our girl, but they are. So Normani said, listen, I'll take whatever you can give me. Can you fit me in? And they fit her in, yes. She has the moves. She was, she was mostly not lip syncing. They did put an auto tune on her voice which is fine. The intricacy of the dance moves that she's doing. Yeah, auto -tune. I don't give a damn that you auto-tune. I'm impressed with her dancing and that she's performing the vocals live. I'm impressed with that. People trying to detract. Oh, well, she, it sounded like she was lip-syncing to put auto-tune. Okay, okay, yeah, you know what? They put a little bit of auto-tune all on everybody, so stop. So nobody denies dancing, performance, amazing. And then the end was the showstopper because Tiana Taylor came out. And yes, they was giving us, would you mind? They were giving us Janet Jackson.
Today we're giving this to Janet Jackson and I can't believe these haters were like, uh, you need to be more original. Hello, it's called paying homage. Are you kidding me? We do this all the time. What, what, when somebody pays homage to Michael Jackson by adding a little thriller dance, are you gonna say, you weren't original? Like, no, duh, obviously. Like, th this is obviously a nod to an icon before. Ugh, like, the, sometimes the haters just sound so annoying, you know what I mean? And uh, people were, I don't know, some people are always upset when they see anything homosexual. Um, I mean, I'm not upset, some people are like, it's attention seeking. It's a performance. Duh. Performances are attention seeking. I don't I don't understand that logic. It's a performance. We're supposed to be glued to the screen. What do you mean it's attention seeking? That's the point. <sighs> anyway, somebody needs to um drop Tiana Taylor's diet plan or whatever because she always looks ungodlyly amazing like ungodly maybe so ungodly that it's godlike it is goddess status amazing even after a baby after childbirth now, Tiana Taylor got some super genetics. She got something super, super duper. So anyway, I think that's just so cool that they that they did that. She agreed to come out and she was a showstopper. Normani said, y'all only gave me two hours to put this together, but I'm going to make sure you don't forget about me. Y'all ain't never going to forget about me ever again. Shout out to Normani. So those are my thoughts. I love my ladies. I know Olivia Rodrigo performed. Um, you know, good job. Um, so, uh, please, I'm not trying to throw, I don't want nobody in the comments to be like, you're throwing shit. <laughs> because I'm just saying Justin Bieber, good job. No, I mean like, you know, good job. Like, you know, like what else am I supposed to say? Like, you did a good job, you know, like. There's just other people of note that we had to get into. But all in all, the VMAs, you know, that was enjoyable. Like, if I were invited to the VMAs, I would enjoy the show. Um, people are talking about, I miss the old VMAs. I miss the antics. I miss the crazy Yahoo moments as well. Well, it's 2021, okay? People's attentions are everywhere. The times are changing. People don't care about award shows like they used to. I'm even surprised that people even care enough to really discuss the VMAs. Or or maybe it's just because I'm on the Black women commentary side of YouTube. And so, like, we're talking about it. But, um, you know, I think, um, I think our showstoppers did a great job. I think Olivia did a great job. I'm really excited for her career. I hope she keeps at it. Um, but no, we're excited for the girls who want to give. The girls who want to give. The girls in the gay who want to give. We're excited for them. And we're rooting for them. And can't wait to see what's in store for them. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um... If you agree, disagree, listen for the haters who are hating on my wig. I have an autoimmune disease and lately I've been wearing my wigs. I didn't used to wear my wig very often in my videos because it was like 15 people watching. I didn't care, um, but I watched it today. Okay, so it's air drying. Aren't you happy that there's movement? Anyway, somebody, somebody in my comments was like, how dare you even entertain these haters who who can't even see your beauty? I know I'm just messing around. I I I appreciate a good troll, so um I enjoy trolling back, but also they're not worth the time, right? They are beneath us. I appreciate I appreciate the people who are just so lovely in the comments. I really appreciate you. And I appreciate the parasocial relationship that we're 
that we're developing. Um, you could have watched any video here on YouTube today, but you decided to spend 25 minutes with me. Thank you. I hope to see you in the comments. Um, I hope you vibed enough to subscribe and I hope you liked the video. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.